Hi, it's Melissa with Kids Have Hope. I have been working on a poster of our own um, that I wanted to share with you and put it on Facebook so that you can all download it and put it in your classrooms, in your homes, on your refrigerators, give it to your teachers, give it to your hospitals, wherever you can spread the word because I can't be everywhere, uh, even my interns can't be everywhere, so I think this is a great way to spread the word. Um, so this is kind of a preview of what the poster looks like. It's going to be bigger, obviously. Um, when you when you print it out, I will um, I will have something where it'll be much bigger. The wording will be, be bigger. But what it is is it is the the body safety rules that I go over. And um, you you know what would be great is if you learned the body safety rules so that you can go over them and then have them. Um, in a spot where you can see them and where your kids can see them all the time and they're just wonderful um, so the first body safety rule is it's my body and that one you know means that your body belongs to you no one has the right to touch you in a way you don't like or you don't understand very empowering very good uh, number two trust myself I teach the little ones that we all have this uh-oh feeling on the inside and if we're starting to feel something kind of like uh-oh something's wrong something's not right that we need to trust that if I feel like something is wrong then I am right number three I have choices and I can say no when I feel like I have that uh oh feeling and I want to say no, teach them that it's okay to say no. That's very good. And teach them how to say no. You know, sometimes we need to put on our mean faces to say no. Um, and number four, I will tell somebody. So this one is very important because we come up with who can we tell? Um, can we tell mom, dad, teacher, grandma, grandpa? We come up with a list of people in our lives that we can tell. Um, can I tell my baby sister? Well, that's probably not the best idea. Or my dog, probably not. But let's tell some, uh, make sure it's an adult, somebody that we can trust. So it's good to go over a list of people in our lives that we can tell so that in case we need to talk to, even if we just have a question about somebody or something that happened, um, this is just a good thing to go over this opens up communication this poster alone opens up communication we want that right um, number five abuse is never my fault uh, teach this this is important abuse comes with a lot of guilt and even as adults we keep this in our lives we think that somehow we could have done something different uh, it, we, you know, we feel guilty about something and I'm here to tell you right now that abuse is not your fault. It wasn't your fault. I don't care how old you are. It was never your fault. Let's teach our kids that. That is so important and please teach them how special they are and how much you love them and I know you do and um, this poster will have our kids have hope information on it, our phone number and email. Email me with any questions. If you want us to come into your classroom, if you want any resources, let me know. Um, download this. Please bring it, put it up anywhere. Learn these rules. Teach them to your kids. This is really a great way to start talking to your kids about how to stay safe against sexual abusers that are out there. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. Much, much love. Mwah.